Okay, we spent a lot of time looking at the first example and how I smoothed it and put it together. So this next tutorial assumes that the other cups have been smoothed. I just wanted to show you a little bit and give you a few tips on how to decorate and add the handle and footers and whatnot to the other cups. So if we look here, we'll see that I've carved out or drawn out the Spartans, the Spartan logo. Then I've taken and I've doubled it over, moved it to the other side, essentially making a stencil for the other one. That's how I get both of them to be uh, more or less the same. Okay, so now we see that I'm scoring the the cup really well. I mean, it's just, I cannot stress uh, how much and how important it is to score well. And also, I'm going to be scoring the backs of the Spartan things. Next, aligning things. Remember, always craftsmanship. So here I've got the two sides lined up really well, using my pencil for that. And then the cleaning. So as soon as you put something on, clean it up. Here's a picture of the footer and how that has gone on. Here's another example. Here's my other cup. And I want to show you how I could measure out the decorations for this one. It's that long wave per version. Okay, so I've made a mark at uh, the one end of the cup, and I've used it to, and rolled it to the other end, and so now you can see the mark at the other end. Okay, and I've drawn out my wave accordingly. Here it shows that even though I thought it was very thin, you can see it's actually kind of thick. So I've taken and I've run my finger along the edge to smooth it out. Here we show that they're scored very well. And here I am attaching it. I moistened it a little bit. And starting from the outer edge and working my way up. So in other words, I'm pushing all the air out of it as I work it from one end out to the back of the other. Here it is, just scoring the sun. Very well scored. Okay, and now testing the handle to see if the handle is the right size and getting things all aligned really well. Finally, adding the footer to this one, scored very well and placed on and smoothed very nicely. Okay, so after these have had a chance to dry, I went ahead and even though it's got decorations, I went ahead and I sanded it and that really made things so much better. You know, everywhere, everywhere. Here, especially on the inside, there was no problem with doing the inside, right? In this cup. The only thing you might be careful is the handles. Really be gentle, because if you knock off the handles now, it's really difficult to repair it. Some other piece of decoration comes off, well, maybe we can put it on. But the handle being such a structural thing, hard to replace that. So be super careful. So, for instance, on this one here, this handle is so delicate, the way that it's made, that, you know, I looked at it and I said, you know what? Good enough. It's smooth enough. I'm not going to mess with it. Maybe around the base I did a little bit, but not much, you know. This one was easy uh, because, you know, the, the Spartans look complicated, but it's actually really simple sort of design. So I was able to get everything where the surface is here and then here, no problem. Another thing you might want to look at, all the cups that I'm showing you now, look at the rims. The rims are relatively thin. They're going to get nothing but thicker when I add a little bit of glaze to it. And you don't want your, your things to be too thick. This one here is sort of bordering on how thick it is, really, to be drinkable. So look for that. Here, too. Some of these things would be very difficult to get to. Well, obviously, I could take my sandpaper and fold it into small shapes like this to get down into areas and whatnot. But one another thing I could do is I could take one of these carving tools and I could get in there and then I could refine some of my shapes. Get in there, just clean them up a little bit whatever, getting in here, even using it to smooth a little bit here and there. 
really makes a difference. Remember, craftsmanship always, always try and practice that craftsmanship. And if you practiced your craftsmanship when you were attaching things, you know, with all the scoring and the wedding and everything, then you should have no fear of these busting off. If they did, you know, you could just wet where it busted off at wet the piece itself and stick it back on because it's not structural. It should stay on, especially once it's glazed, it'll be glued on no problem. Handles on the other hand, be careful with those. Here's another one. So here, easy to sand and refine in this one, okay. And, uh, but here with all this going on, very difficult. All I could sand was just around the top, but in here, tough, right? But these flowers, ah, you know, they look okay, but they're they're a little bit unrefined. So some of the edges are kind of raggedy and stuff. That's where once again a carving tool like this could come in very handy. Maybe a tool that's shaped like this. This is a very handy little tool right here. Cause it's got a little bit of a roundness to it. So I could refine edges. Like this, for instance. This one's just kind of a mushy edge right here. So I can get in. And give it a more refined shape. Just cleaning those up wherever. Wherever on those decorations. Remember my whole, you know, sort of example of a blouse. If you were, you know, the ladies, if you guys were in there, or maybe one of you guys, if you were getting a sports jersey or something, you know, like, uh, and paying a, a lot of money for one of those things, you'd be looking at it all over. If there was any little threads hanging out and the stitching wasn't done very well, you wouldn't buy it. You'd buy the next one on the rack, or you might, uh, if there was not another one, you might just pass it up entirely. Gotta look for that. And so, same kind of thing. If you just see little things, you're like, okay, if I was giving somebody else advice to correct it, what would I tell them? I might say, hey, you know, that, that little bit there, or this little bit here, you can do a little something there. And so, if you act as if you were telling somebody else, a lot of times then it's a lot easier to, uh, you know, kind of figure out what you want to do. Because we always, we always have the ability to, give other people advice. It's sometimes hard to think about the advice for ourselves. Okay, so the next step will be just washing and glazing these. I think they're ready to go. Make sure that you get your names and your periods in the bottom. 